everyone, it's Leanne again. I thought I'd um, show you that bag that I promised you last time. I like copper picks that I won on eBay. This whole bag here cost me $25 on eBay and it came in this beautiful bag called I Like Copy Text. Now I've never seen a bag like that before um, but it has ram packed filled of goodies and I thought I'd show you what, what I won on eBay. So this is the bag. Now this cost me $25. Um, and I'll have a look and show you exactly what I won. Now in this bag I won this, this goodies. Now I'll just put this red bag down so I can show you exactly what I won. Right. Now in this bag We've got some beautiful doilies. Um, they're not completed. They're already stamped and have beautiful lace around them. And what I thought I'd do with this is um, um, in actual fact I'm going to use this for my retirement. Um, and I'm going to colour it in and I'm going to use it in my bedroom. Now they call, I don't know whether they call them Duchess sets or is the one with the lady with the Duchess sets. But here we go, here's two of the smaller doilies. Now it's got, um, I don't know, what is that? Some flowers on it. I'm not sure what sort of flowers. Maybe you can tell me. But it's yellow and it has beautiful yellow lace around it. And there's two of them as well. And it comes with the instructions and the colours to use. Now that's one set I got. And that's a beautiful set I'm going to use in my own bedroom when I retire. Or I shouldn't say retire because at the moment we're getting a house built. in a little country town and that's where we'll be going to retire um, and I'm trying to get some things organised to use when I retire so it's not so expensive when we retire here I have now this is a beautiful beautiful tablecloth I'd say now just look at that I don't know what size it is it's big um, and it's got beautiful stampings on it. Now you, you could also embroidery that um, with hobby text. Now that is a beautiful tea ta uh, tablecloth I'd say um, and it has beautiful stamping on it of fruits is it? Fruits? Yep, fruit strawberries, looks like peaches um, and it has this beautiful bow spining so it's all finished for you. All you have to do is the fruits and the flowers. Isn't that gorgeous? Now that is a beautiful tablecloth. I'm going to definitely use that one at the time. Now that came in this bag with the instructions, of course, the colours and all that. So I'll just put that in there. That is a very, very nice tablecloth. Now one of these alone would cost you more than $25, so I've got a really good bargain. And this one here is a yellow one. It's a, sorry, daisy chain tablecloth. This one is all finished. It's yellow. It is stunning. It's all finished off in the edges and that. Um, and then it has this beautiful stunning border of daisies. Called the Daisy Chain tablecloth. This one. Now it's absolutely beautiful. There's a lot of work in that, but it would be stunning when it was finished. Now you could embroider all this stuff. 
Um, you don't have to use hobby text on it. It's all stamped there. You can pick out your own colours and whatever you want. And that is a very, very nice tablecloth. It's a day, daisy chain tablecloth. Yeah. So I've got some really, really nice tablecloths here that will keep me busy when I retire. Keep me going. This one here is a beautiful small tablecloth. And I'll just open it up. Oh, yes, this is beautiful. This is stunning. This one here is that picture of the camisole and the beautiful picture of that lady. Oh, look at that. That is stunning. Now that's on the four corners of this tablecloth. Once again, it's all finished off. Machine sewed. Oh, uh, what do they call that? Overlocking. And that is absolutely stunning. You can find a picture of her uh, somewhere online and get the colours from it and then use your own colours. You can use hobby text on it or you can embroider it. Doesn't really matter. It's quite beautiful. There's the other side. Absolutely stunning. And that's a small one. You could probably put that in your bedroom on your sideboard or your side table, sorry. Now that, those alone would be worth $25. That's a lot more actually, one of them would be worth $25. Now that is a beautiful set there for your bedroom. Now that's one set of hobby text that I've got. And here's the second package. And this is huge, this has got some things in it. And this one is called... Um, let me see. It's called Spring Blooms Collection. Spring Blooms Co Collections. And it is a massive tablecloth. It is huge. And it has this on it. It has a lot of work and that's very intricate. Now that runs around in the four corners, like that, or in the middle, sorry. Now that's also finished off with overlocking on the edges. Um, you can with those uh, edges with the overlocking. You can leave it like that or you can actually fold it over and hand sew it or machine sew it if you're good at machine sewing. Now that's another one and that is a huge tape cloth. Um, as you can see, it's massive. Um, I'm not sure of the sizes of that one, but it is very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Um, I'm not sure about the size, but anyway, that's the Spring Blooms tablecloth. It's got lovely flowers. Spring flowers on it. Right, that's one. The next one is called. Let me just check. Now it says the oval tablecloth. Um, floral affair tablecloth, it's called. Floral Affair. Now this is another huge one, big, and it is stunning. And it's stunning because the edging. Now the edging is this beautiful brown lace. Look at that. It's gorgeous. That's the right side, so I might open it up and show you. Um, yeah, there it is. That is stunning. <laughs> I love that. And it has a massive picture inside. Now that is a huge lace. I'd say that's about an inch and a half lace. So look at that. That's stunning. I'll just try and get it in the right way. 
so I can see the picture. Oh, it's beautiful. That's very hard to see, and I haven't folded it correctly, but I will show you what well, I can show you. There we go. Have a look at that. It, that is stunning. It's got all these little marks here. I don't know whether you can use them for crisscross. I suppose you could. But, oh, this is fantastic. I think I'll use this one. Um, it's a lot of work involved in this. Um, you know, it is a beautiful tablecloth to display. Absolutely stunning. I love the brown. The brown is beautiful. And that was called the Floral Affair Tablecloth, Oval Tablecloth. It's oval. Makes you want to go out and buy an oval table, doesn't it? Just so you can put it on it. I have a really old round table. I think it's about 150 centimetres. Oh no, 180 centimetres. And um, I like it. I've had it for a long time. And I probably won't ever get rid of it. Now, let's see what else we've got here. Right, this is called um, a garland tablecloth. Garland. Garland. Right, let's have a look. There's two in here. I don't know what's what. It looks like some's coloured. Oh, this is stunning. Oh, this is beautiful. Someone's already started it. Um, there it is there. This is a beautiful white one, linen one. Cotton, I'd say. And someone's already started the colouring of it. Now it has a beautiful one inch lace around it. That is stunning. See what's good about hobby text is you don't have to finish them off, it's just the hobby text itself. Now someone's already started on that because as you can see none of the others have been done. So it's just that one. And that is stunning. Beautiful colours. So that's the garland. Someone already started that one. Now I'm not sure about this one, but someone looks like someone started this. Oops, hang on a minute, I'll just get that. Uh, this one's called Pre-Shaded Rose Lunch Cloth. This is a lunch cloth and it's pre-shaded. So there you go, it comes that way, pre-shaded. I don't know why. Is that what it means? Pre-shaded? Someone's already done, they've already done it or doesn't mean that at all. I don't know what that means. I'd have to read up on it. But that one there, this rose has already started. That is stunning. Um, this has also got about an inch, maybe an inch and a half. No, that's about an inch. Uh, lace right around it. Um, and it's a square one. And it is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely beautiful. And don't forget, I only paid twenty-five dollars for all of these, so it was a pretty good bargain. Um, considering most of these are around thirty dollars each, maybe more. A lot of them are. Um, not the ones today. I know these are new, second-hand, but appreciated rose lunch cloth. Now that's all it says. So I'll put that in. That's pretty, 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 pretty. Now, let's do it more. And this one here is interesting. It's called Bamboo Lunch Cloth. I presume that means it's a bamboo picture. Oh, yes. That is beautiful as well. 
Look at that. It's got beautiful pieces of bamboo in here. Um, can you see it? That's stunning. That's another um, cream material. And it's finished off with uh, overlocking. So that's a very pretty little one. That'd be a nice lunch set or something like that. Outdoors, you're having a nice lunch in the sun. You can put that on the table. Alright. Still more. Are you getting bored? Sorry if you are. Just fast forward it. Uh, oh, yes, here is his paperwork. It says um, Daffodil Coffee Cloth. Oh, here we go. You can sit down on the porch on your, on your cup of coffee. And you have this beautiful little square tablecloth with this beautiful um, motif there. That would be nice. You probably text all that in, you blend all the colours in and then you um so that's quite pretty. That's um a daffodil coffee cloth, so daffodils. Right. That's quite pretty. And then we have this Beautiful butterfly on this one. Have a look at this. Look at that. That is stunning, isn't it? <laughs> and it's overlocked in this beautiful green cotton. It's quite effective, that um, border. I love that border. And this one here is... <clears throat> um, let me see. It's called a Devonshire tea cloth. Um, and it has butterflies and little pansies, I think they are, and roses. Oh my gosh, that's pretty. Have a look at that. Look at all the flowers on it. And there's a pansy up there. There's rose, rose. There's the butterfly again. Look at that. That's stunning. That is so sweet. There's the butterfly. That is so adorable. See that one um, wouldn't take a lot to do. You could do that one um, quite effectively and use that. It's not a lot of work involved in that one. So that one would be an easy one to start with. Still more. Right, this one here is an evergreen cloth. Evergreen. Um, evergreen. Yes, well, it's mainly flowers and leaves and things like that. Um, it's another square one. And it certainly has have beautiful design on that one. Have a look at that one. Um, those flowers are big, so a lot of hobby techs paint involved in that one. Um, it's quite pretty. And this is white with a white edging. It's quite a nice one. They're all nice. Um, so we've got that one. Right now, let's see. We've got one more. Oh, this is stunning. I don't know what this is, but this is very stunning. This is, um, let me see, let me read. This is the traditional, sorry, the national doll tablecloth. And as you can see, look at the instructions. As, oh, all these dolls. 
you know, you could photocopy that, cut them out and use them in some design or on a card or something. Or on a book. They are fantastic. What do you reckon? Look at this one here with the long hair. Is it long hair? Yeah, it's long hair. Looks very oriental. That is stunning. Anyway, these are national goals. And the edging, no, it's not the edge. Pop over her head. It looks round, so this would go on my beautiful old table. And look at that. <laughs> that is stunning. Oh, look at that one. Isn't that one beautiful? From Thailand. Yes, it's Thailand. So they do name the countries under them. And that is a round one. That is stunning. Now, what also comes with that is that beautiful one inch lace edging. Look at that. Crochet. That is stunning. Definitely going to do this one and use it because of my own table being round. And that is the last of it. I don't know whether you enjoyed looking at them or not. I'm sure you did. Now, that cost me 25 bucks from eBay. There was a little bit of shipping, not much. Manageable shipping. Um, <coughs> and all those lovely happy text pieces there that I can do when I'm sitting on my porch in the country, sipping my coffee with my beautiful coffee table, um, tablecloth, and doing them and enjoying myself. Now that was all the hobby picks. Now I've just put them back in the bag um, because I, if I don't do it now I won't do it. Get lazy, don't we? So I'll just put them all back in this bag. I love that tablecloth. It's the biggest one there with the brown lace. Stunning, isn't it? Stunning, stunning, stunning. But I'll definitely do that big round one for my own table. And I will certainly do the smaller one with the pansies on it because that would be a simple one to start off with. And they can stay in this bag and be looked after very well. I like copy text. Whew, that was a big haul. Now, um, that is what I bought from eBay. Now, I have not been up to too much because I've been sick. So, um, I've got to have all these tests done. I think my levels of diabetes are a little bit out of control recently. And um, I have to get them back on track. And I've been sleeping a lot. So that's not a good sign. So what I'll do is I'll come back with a couple of more videos on stuff that I'm doing. I haven't got back to my ideal dolls. Now I want to because I love my dolls. Um, and I look at them every day and I think, oh. But when you're sick, you feel a bit low. And you haven't got the energy to continue um, at a pace. So you slow up a little bit to get better again, and um, most people are the same. You know, they take a break for a minute to catch their breath to find out, you know, tests and test results and things like that. But anyway, um, this flu that's going around. I had a head cold three or four months ago. Ago, my husband brought it home because uh, he was sick. And I have not been able to shake that, and that's probably why my levels are skyrocketing because um, I can't get this flu under control. I don't know if it's a swine flu, um, an influenza from overseas. He, he um, sorts mail, so he touches a lot of mail from overseas and passes, and I suspect that's where all the germs come from. 
um, from one person to another, from overseas to Australia, and we all get sick uh, consequently, and the you know the family gets sick because they bring it home. Uh, all different strains of bugs and things from other countries that we don't normally get here in Australia, where it travels that way through the mail, uh, through people travelling, that sort of thing. So we're, we're all going to get it and we're all not immune to it. But when you've got diabetes, you can't afford to keep having flu. You have to really knuckle down and get rid of it because it can affect your levels. It can skyrocket your levels. That's what's happened to me. And I'm down and I'm sick. But on the bright side, um, there's always a bright side. <laughs> anyway, I've been doing some of these little flowers. I'll just bring it over to show you. I've just been kept keeping myself busy doing these silly little flowers. These rolled, ro uh, not rear roses, but they're flat. I like them because they're very flat. Now this one's got some little stuff on the top. And these flowers are quite sweet to put on your projects, um, particularly doing shabby chic, something vintage, you know, something old. They look old, don't they? Like they look. This one here is from a tea towel. I just curled it up, wrapped it around, and glued it. Here's a denim one. Uh, this, so these are just flowers that you just roll up and twist, and then you glue them all together. Um, they're good on the projects. There's another one, a tea towel. An old tea towel. Brand new, but it's, um, looks old, looks vintage. That one there is, um, let me see, oh, Hessian. It's like a bird's nest, but it's very pretty. Another one, denim. This one here, I just threw some cotton on top. I'm going to take that off because we don't have teal stamens deal inside. <laughs> I just threw that on top. I'll take it off. There's another little one. Now these are good for you. Um, oh, this one's sweet. It's like a bird's nest, but it's rolled. And it's got some bits and pieces on top. And there's this one. I put it as one of those in the middle of a flower. That one's pretty. Oh, it's another one, a rolled one. And a little sweet rolled one with a little bit of frill on it as well. Um, now I also did some cards. I don't know if I'm any good at card making. I'm trying. I'm trying to learn new things. This little Mickey Mouse one on white cardstock, some polka dot pink, and some beautiful brick brick stuff, whatever they call that. Today, modern with the Mickey Mouse and ears, of course. The inside, I stamped it with a birthday wish. Let me just read it to you. Wishing you a birthday that is happy through and through, and hoping that the year ahead is wonderful for you. Isn't that sweet? That's one card. Um, I have one more card for a little girl. I made this one here. Um, she's got one of the gorgeous girls on there, and I've just made those little flowers. Cut them out, painted them, cut them out. I've got very fine ribbon around the edging of this paper dot piece. And that's a gorgeous girl and she's got bows and things in her hair. And it's the same sentiment that I stamped inside there. And uh, she's quite pretty too. And that's about it. Oh, you saw my koala ears, didn't you? Here's my koala ears. Oops. Can you see that? Right, and all my little flowers on my head. And there's the cards. Now that's what I've been doing. I've just been sitting here relaxing, trying to just do a few
things that are pleasing for me. Anyway, from me to you, until I see you next time, see you in the next